hi everyone welcome back to the vlog if you if you're new to my channel a massive welcome to you don't forget to subscribe if you want to if you don't don't worry about it but welcome and i hope this video is going to be useful to you so today's video is a little bit more about referencing. I know I've done some assignment tips before. Uh, I've done a recent one as well last week, so please check that out. But today I just wanted to go over referencing alone because I know that is a big struggle that people have. So I'm going to try and do this video justice, make it easy for you to understand. And there'll be links below in the description as well. So have a look at those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a live demonstration. I've got my laptop of how I would reference and hopefully it will help you and, and hopefully it will make sense in some way to you. Um, so what I've done is I've pulled up this um, 2021 report, the same one that I used in my previous video, just to make it easy and simple for myself and you. Um, so what I'm going to do is reference this report in my writing and show you different ways of doing it. I've also got up this second page which is free for everybody to look at it's the bcu harvard referencing guide it is my go-to for everything because it was just so easy to understand and if you click on electronic sources for example it's got all these different types of resources so we are using a, a report is it a pdf it's not a pdf it's just from the website um so but it is like um a report so i'm going to click on report and this says electronic reports in PDF format, but this isn't a PDF format. So we're going to scroll down to get something that's not in PDF format. So this is not a PDF format, but it is electronic report. So I'm going to follow this description here, which I've highlighted way too much. <laughs> Um, but it says there, look, it gives you the exact example on this. It says, write the author, write the year, write the title in italics because it's got that and it's got a little full stop. So you need to put a little full stop at the end of it. It's got brackets for the year. So you need to put the brackets. This is how you write it. Like exactly like this. And then it gives an example here. Done. Easy, simple to follow. I'm ready. I've got up my report on the left. I've split my screen so you can see like for like what I'm doing here. Uh, so I've got this is what I've just been looking at the report. I've taken and summarised this section here on my Word document. So how do I reference that? It doesn't matter about the wording and things like that that I've just written. Write it however you want to write it as long as the information is correct. So two different ways to cite this in your main body. So I can either put in brackets here, UK Health whoop, Security Agency, comma, 2021, because it's tw um, 2022. It'd help if I could actually spell <laughs> like that. That's it. That's your reference done for that. That's all you need to do. And then you're going to add your reference list at the end. So reference list at the end of your assignment, end of your PowerPoint, wherever you're putting your reference list, put it at the end as well as in your body. So in your main body, you should have this UK Health Secretary Agency 2022. Then at the end, you're putting the full citation. So you're going to use this UK Health Secretary Agency is going there again. You're going to have brackets around the 2022. Remove that. We're going to go back just to check. So we're going to authorship. That's the author, UK Health Secretary Agency. Security, I keep saying secretary. Security Agency, it is sec security, right? Security, yeah. I'm going mad. UK Health Security Agency 2022 year is in brackets like it says so the title you're going to go back sexually transmitted and so that is your title italics yep yeah, there you go it's done in italics available at available at which is not italics um yeah and then you're going to copy and paste the url this is the url it's the website information at the top the white so if you were going to use youtube do not use youtube but www.youtube.com for example this is www.gov.uk forward slash all the rest of the jazz so you're going to copy and paste that into there there you go and then so that's your url and then access date after is the url so access 
what is today's date? 12th of February 2023, full stop. And that is your reference. So you've got, like I said, in the body, your reference to show where that's come from. And your reference list at the end is going to have the full shabam, the full whack of where to find this information so people can go and check your information is correct. And people do check, so make sure it's correct. Um, and that's how you reference. So the second way to reference, like I was saying, there's two ways to do this. This is just one way. Putting it at the end of a, a sentence that you've got is one way. The other way, which is a really good way as well, is so recent statistics from the UK Health Security Agency 2022. And then you would take that out and you would put a full stop because that's the end of your sentence. Obviously, if you're not a Birmingham City University student, BCU, that's what that means, BCU student, um, make sure you're using your own university Harvard reference and guide. Make sure it matches this guide because every university has a different style of Harvard referencing. So you want to make sure that you're meeting your university standards. Don't get it wrong, please, is my big tip. But I use BCU for everything and I always have done. Even when I was at a different university, I use BCU guidelines because I just found it so easy. I mean, look how easy this website is. It's just so simple, easy to understand, to do your reference. Um, but I always went back. So I went to Bournemouth University as well to do my GP course. I use BCU, but then I checked it against those guidelines to make sure it was the same sort of structure and style. And luckily it was. So just double check that before you do anything. But this is really, really good. This Harvard referencing guide is really good and it's got everything. So if you want a printed book, you've got printed books, chapters, reports, directories, all sorts in here music sources, other sources, in-text citations. So it's got a whole page on how to cite in your text, which is this part here on the Word document. That's how you're citing in the text in your main body. That's where you're putting your reference to start with and then on the reference list. So this just shows you how to do it. Let me just click on one just to see. So yeah, exactly what I've done here. That is a direct, direct in citation. There's um, indirectly is putting it at the end. Like I said here, those are the two examples of doing it. They're, they're the best two examples. There's several sources. So you would use et, et al sometimes, uh, depending. Um, if you've got two or three, then that's OK. You can do it like this. But if you've got a report that's got like 10 different authors on it. So let me just try and find something. So STI. Whoop. STI rates, UK, um, let's go Google Scholar, hopefully I'm going to find something for you. Yeah, so here, this one's a really good example. So this is um, an article that's on STI risk perceptions and all that jazz. And this has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's got nine authors. You're not going to put all those names down in your main body. That's going to bulk out your word count. So what you would do is just put the first one and then et al. So I'm going to do this one here. So do a separate one. So Clifton, because that's the surname. It usually goes first name and surname on these. So just put Clifton et al, comma, 20, whoa, what year is this? 2018, there you go, 2018. So you can do it like that as well. And then in the main body, down here you will have to list all of those people so you would put Clifton S uh, Mercer and and Johnson a m dot and then the year what did we say 2018 and then you would go on to doing exactly this what's above so copy and paste I usually copy and paste just because it's easier but it will come out like that so you need to put it back to normal where's the little thing that little thing there sends it back to normal um so you're doing it like that um let's go back so three or more authors just like it says on here et al after the first author and that's what you do Kim et al 
2007 and that's how you would do it in here so up here instead of health secretary agency you would go clifton et al 2018 and then you would just remove that one obviously it's going to be different information because it's a different different paper but this is just an example to show you different ways of referencing when it's got more than one or two or three authors even if it's got two you can just put like Adam and Smith 2018 but if it's got three or more you're not going to want to write that like I said so you literally just do it like that Clifton et al 2018 and then in the main body bit you're going to put all of the names down and then all of this yes so going back to my authors when you've got loads of authors all these commas and dots and things like that so this is how you want it to look like this when you've got more than one it's on this page here so you go the surname comma then the initial and then you can put dot if it's got two so in here i should have put a dot sorry if it's got two initials there you go dot and then you put full stop comma i think i did it the other way around actually didn't i there you go full stop comma see even i get these little things the other way around i mean does it really matter where you put your comma if you put the comma in the dot are you going to get penalized for it i'm not sure it should look something like that so it should look something like this anyway this bcu guide so this is on this the style guide so i went to this page here in text citations and then style guide and when you click on style guide it comes up with this so it shows you example reference list and it's got it here to show you all the different ways to to put it it's just it's so easy to understand if you just take some time to get your head around it and read it and look at it and practice you'll be well aware you'll be referencing in your sleep like in no time honestly so back to this reference anyway because this is a journal article so this is a journal article it does have a doi so you can press it as well i always press the link to make sure it opens and make sure it works there you go that's it oh, and this will have the full doi here the https there to put on here so i'll go back and i'm going to check my guide again nope not that one so authorship we've got all the authors we've got the year yes we've got the article title yes we've got the journal title article title full stop journal title so what is the journal title the journal article is e clinical clinical medicine in. as you can see i misspell a lot of things all of the time so yeah so we've got that so what's the next thing so journal title comma oops comma let's go back to this page journal title comma yeah the volume and issue so what is the volume and issue so i'm going to come to this page because usually this one's got a lot yeah there you go volume two uh it hasn't got an issue number so i'm going to do volume two article identifier i think is the page number you normally put the page number so that'd be this 22 to 29 to 36 so 29 to 36 is the identifier because that's the page number so you've got the journal title the volume and the page number so that they can find it and then what we're going to do full stop available at doi done when you've got a doi you don't need to put an access date so you know with this first one we put access date you don't need to do that if you've got a doi but if you haven't got a doi page um or number then you have to put an access date at the end of it as well so yeah um we're going to go back and we're going to do this in italics as well because your journal should be in italics so if it's a journal your journal title should be the one in italics if it's not a journal and it's something else it should be the the title of that like the first one sexually transmitted infections that bit got highlighted because it's not a journal but on this it's the journal title that gets highlighted so they're the two differences between articles and web website reports and that sort of thing so that is how you would reference that and i'm going to stop talking now because i feel like i've chewed your ear off about referencing i don't even know how long this video is going to be probably about 30 minutes on referencing i'm so sorry if this video is that long but i hope you've got something from it and i hope you all have an amazing day any more videos i can do that you think would be really good you want to know a bit more about put a comment below as always 
Don't forget to look in the description as well because my new book is coming out. Come on, I'm going to be plugging this into every video now. It is available for pre-order. It's great for student nurses just starting out on their nursing journey. It's got all the tips from start to finish. So please go and check it out and I'll see you next time. Bye.